Good to have yours, bro. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Today I'm gonna make a little mount for this TV antenna. So I can bolt it to the pole. And then it, then it can be mounted to the... Um, yeah, stick it up in the shed and mount it to the pole. Like we do with a normal TV antenna. So that will go there. This is just an old exhaust bracket off an old, uh, yeah, old, I don't know what car it was, can't remember. But yeah, it was off an old Holden or something like that, Kingswood or something, I don't remember now, it's that long ago. But yeah, I draw holes through the wood, and that would just poke through the handle, and the pole will go between there. They put two washers on this side, and bolt it down, and the pole will be in here, and it'll be held on. So yeah, very similar to a TV antenna design, except the TV antenna has teeth on it, so it grabs and doesn't move. But is much the same thing. So I'm going to mark the hole exactly where I'm going to put this. So there's probably the best place I could put it. That's about where it is on a normal TV antenna. So yeah, I'm going to mark my holes out and we can start drilling. Before I do that, yeah, I might have to make a, a slightly smaller job bit there. It might be too big. It might make the holes a bit too big. <coughs> so yeah, I'll do that. I can't have yours though. Very crudely installed here. Don't have a chance, some more connection to connect that on, but yeah, just sit it on there like that. And that's our antenna all hooked up. So now I gotta get down. <laughs> Didn't see that little fella. So yeah, give it a try. Box is starting up. There you go. We've got the TV. Oh, well, it's not the best on 7-2. But that's just because of my connection. I need a good, good connection to get me um, signal to stay properly and strong and consistent. I get your VHF 100% though, that's good. Beef and pork chops and things like that. That's a good thing. To use a knife and fork, all right? There we go. So yeah. Sesame Street's very own Elmo and Abby Kadabby. Yeah, I tell you this needs a bit of fine tuning and sure. Yeah, it's mainly that connection I gotta work on. I gotta add some sort of um little transformer splitty things that those normal like normal TV antennas have. I forgot what they're called, um UV UHF VHF transformers, whatever they are. Get one of those and fit one into it and get a good connection and it should get, um, yeah, prime should come in strong and not break up. So let's go check the antenna out. So there you go, yours, my redneck DTV antenna. Just a shovel handle with some chalice wires stuck in it. And a loop in the middle to get me the UHF or the VHF signals. That's it. So yeah, thanks for watching.